Hello and welcome to the second episode of R&D. Do you know in which year the field effect transistor that is FET was introduced? It was 1959. I was not even born then. What were you doing in the year of 2012 when the industry made the first transition from planar MOSFET to FinFET? We were in Bangalore and preparing for a job change. We were again in front of a transition. Transition from FinFET to nano sheet FET. Want to know in detail? Stay tuned till the end of the video. For last few decades, VLSA industry has kept pace with Moore's law and transition from one node to another happened. As the node proceeds, designers were able to produce faster, more powerful, more energy efficient microchips. This constant advancement has fueled advances in everything like cloud computing, smartphones, virtual reality, robotics, internet of things. Device performance became better in cost of increased fabrication complexity and cost related to it. Trend setting applications like artificial intelligence machine learning, big data analysis and data center servers required the latest and most powerful CMOS solutions. FET was introduced in 1959 and from then planar MOSFET was mostly used. In 2012 at 20 nanometer, the industry made the first transition from planar MOSFET to FinFET to keep pace with Moore's law. In a FinFET, the channel between source and drain terminals is in the form of a fin and the fin is contacted on three sides by the gate. The channel forms within the fin-like structure and due to the structure, better channel control is achieved in FinFET when compared with planar MOSFET. As a result, FinFETs help significantly with current leakage. Fin height has been increased to obtain a higher device drive current at the same footprint. Latest designs place the gate stack directly above the channel area. One problem is that as this structure becomes smaller, it becomes more difficult to block the charge leakage across the transistor. In FinFETs, the gate surrounds the rectangular silicon fin on three sides, leaving the bottom side connected to the body of the silicon. This allows some leakage current to flow when the transistor is off. This leakage current degrades the chip performance as the device becomes hotter, less power efficient. As scaling is pushed beyond 5 nanometer, the FinFET rear roadmap seems to be coming to an end. The new FET device with modified structure which will take the roadmap beyond 5 nanometer is broadly part of a concept that is described as Get All Around or GAA transistor. GAA transistors address several challenges around FinFETs for the 3 nanometer node and beyond, promising better performance of more than 25% and power consumption reductions of more than 50%. In nanosheet technology, the gate surrounds the channel from all sides, resulting in better channel control and better control over leakage current. This structure of channel supports far more advanced semiconductor fabrication processes. In nanosheet fate, the channel region consists of multiple horizontal nanometer thin sheets stacked up atop one another. A gate fully wraps around the channel to provide better channel control compared to a multi-gate fin fit with limited additional process complexity. One of the key advantages of a nano sheet device is its short channel control which is critical to threshold voltage variation. Smaller VTH variation is necessary requirement for good device performance. Nano sheets offer excellent electrostatic and short channel control and can be fabricated with minimal deviation from fin fit fabrication process. Researchers have demonstrated nanosheet transistor with more than 50% lower VTH variation compared to FinFET. Another advantage of nanosheet FET over FinFET is design flexibility to control the required device performance. Adjusting the effective width of the transistor channel, we can get more drive current. Increased drive current means faster transistor switching. A narrow nanosheet has less drive current, less power consumption, although it takes up a smaller area. Not all chips currently being produced require FinFETs. Analog RF and other components are built around more mature processes and are still in high demand. FinFETs will still be viable for chips from 16 nanometer to 5 nanometer, while planar transistor will remain the mainstream technology at 20 nanometer and above. Adoption of new FET device has come after a gap of 10 years. It's expected that inclusion of nanosheet FET will get started from 3 nanometer node. As usual, three different categories of applications should remain there. High performance computer
computing which means servers and data centers second general purpose that is laptop and gaming number three low power that is mobile and iot with significant differences in terms of acceptable leakage current and other performance parameters the timing application and nomenclature of the new device will vary depending on the foundries this situation is quite similar to the transition from mosfet to finfed initiated by intel in 2011 intel samsung tsmc and others have started the groundwork for the transition from today's FinFET transistor to GAFETs at the 3 nanometer and 2 nanometer nodes starting either next year or 2024. GAFETs hold the promise of better performance, lower power and lower leakage. Samsung plans to introduce the world's first nanosheet at 3 nanometer in the 2022-23 time frame. TSMC is developing 2 nanometer GA for initial launch in 2024 or 2025. The technology will require entirely new fabs with the cost of these new fabs in the 20 billion dollar range. This is not something the industry is approaching without careful consideration. Samsung has named the device as as multi bridge channel fit, TSMC as gate all around fits, and Intel as ribbon fit. Continuous downscaling of feature size of MOSFET led to device performance issues and as a solution, industry has adopted high-k dielectric strain silicon altogether new device structure like FinFit. All these solutions give desired results although there was no single solution for all requirement and that is the reason why more matured nodes are still alive and working. Now we are moving towards get all around FETs. FinFET technology has resulted in a remarkable performance up to feature size of 7 nanometer after lots of research across world it's almost confirmed that big foundries are moving towards ns fit or nano sheet fit to push the scaling beyond 3 nanometer more research are still going on in the quest of what is beyond ns fit and we can hope that this continuous search for better device performance will lead to more modification realizing human imagination and excellent demonstration of technological superiority on this planet that is much for today we will be back with another episode of R&D. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.